Because 37 states would no longer have uh, uh, legal exchanges. So they, 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 37 states, people would be in a state of flux. So we had a short-term way to, to, to bridge the gap and that, well, we worked on a longer-term solution. The short-term uh, gap would be, would be bridged by uh, uh, basically privatizing the insurance and basically replacing exchanges with substantial tax credits to individuals who bought health insurance. So if you bought, if you're buying health insurance, you get tax credits, substantial big tax credits that will help make up for the, the cost if you put out buying insurance. And also opening up insurance to compete across state lines. Blue Cross Blue Shield, for example, has 70, 70 some odd percent of this market. And, uh, you know, to me, having some competition may not be such a bad thing. So things like that we were talking about doing. And uh, obviously, it's still a work in progress. But the bottom line is the Affordable Care Act is not affordable.